The problem with the harvest is not a lack of rain. We prayed and God sent the showers of blessing and up sprang golden grain. The problem is not confusion, for the master's call to reap is so plain. The harvest is plentiful, the laborers are few, and so we repeat again and again, we've got to pray the Lord of the harvest to send forth reapers today. We've got to pray, give and go, tell them Jesus Christ is the life, the truth, and the way. We've got to pray to the Lord of the harvest to send forth reapers today. We've got to pray, give and go, tell them that Jesus Christ is the life, the truth, the way. He's the life, the truth, and the way. He's the life, the truth, and the way. The problem with the harvest is not a lack of rain. How true that is. I just wrote that song. I'm Pastor Brad Winnegar. The title of it is The Problem with the Harvest. It's not a lack of grain uh, or a lack of rain. It's not a lack of God providing it's a lack of our praying and giving and going, for he said uh, that the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. He said so over here in Matthew's Gospel, the ninth chapter, and we're going to begin at verse 36. This is from the shepherd to the sheep, today's daily devotional. But when he, Jesus, saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them. We never, never want to lose that heartfelt desire to reach lost souls. Because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. And that's what we need to do. We need to help them to come into a relationship with the great, good, and kind shepherd, Jesus Christ. Then saith he, Jesus said to his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. At this time of year and every day, we need to be thinking in terms of a worldview, which there is a lost and, and dying world of individuals having never heard the gospel even one time. We need to share the good news with them. and We need to have a life that likewise is uh, supportive of that message that we, that we speak we likewise live. Let's pray now. Lord, I ask that you'll help us to share by life and by word uh, the truth that the harvest right now needs, uh, needs to be reaped, that the sheep all need shepherds, and that Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is the only good and kind and great shepherd who can take folks to heaven. I pray, Lord, right now that you might Help us to introduce others to Him. With our heads bowed and our eyes closed, if you've never received Jesus Christ as your Savior, right now is the accepted time for you to be saved. Won't you pray? Say something like this from your heart to God and mean it. Dear God, I admit I'm a lost sinner and I'm part of that harvest and I'm part of those lost sheep and I need to be found. Right now I ask that Jesus might come in my heart, take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. And if you're a soul winner, won't you continue to win these precious souls to Christ? And let's keep a, a worldview, uh, a missionary emphasis that is uh, evangelistic and, and uh, fervent. Lord, I pray that you will bless the churches, all those who might be listening, viewing today. I pray, God, that you'll help us all to keep that fire uh, hot and burning within us to win the lost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen.
The problem with the harvest is not a lack of rain. We prayed and God sent the showers of blessing and up sprang golden grain. The problem is not confusion for the master's call to reap is so plain. The harvest is plentiful, the labors are few, and so we repeat this truth again and again. We've got to pray the Lord of the harvest to send forth reapers today. We've got to pray and give and go tell them Jesus Christ is the life, the truth, and the way he's the life the truth and the way god bless you today you are listening to from the shepherd to the sheep daily devotionals this is a ministry of central baptist church in woodbridge virginia if you would like to learn more about our ministries You can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.